Willis bovinus, also known as the Jersey cow mushroom or bovine bolete, is a poured mushroom of the genus Suillus in the family Suiaceae. A common fungus native to Europe and Asia, it has been introduced to North America and Australia. It was initially described as Boletus bovinus by Carl Linnaeus in 1753 and given its current binomial name by Henri Francois Anne de Roussel in 1806. It is an edible mushroom, though not highly regarded. The fungus grows in coniferous forests in its native range and pine plantations in countries where it has become naturalized. It forms symbiotic ectomycorrhizal associations with living trees by enveloping the tree's underground roots with sheaths of fungal tissue and is sometimes parasitized by the related mushroom Gomphidius roceus. Suillus bovinus produces spore-bearing fruit bodies, often in large numbers, above ground. The mushroom has a convex gray-yellow or okra cap, reaching up to 10 centimeters or 4 inches in diameter, which flattens with age. Like other boletes, it has tubes extending downward from the underside of the cap, rather than gills. Spores escape at maturity through the tube openings, or pores. The pore surface is yellow. The stipe, more slender than those of other Suillus boletes, lacks a ring. Suillus bovinus was one of the many species first described in 1753 by the father of taxonomy, Carl Linnaeus, who, in the second volume of his Species Planetarum, gave it the name Boletus bovinus. The specific epithet is derived from the Latin word bos, meaning cattle. The fungus was reclassified in and became the type species of the genus Suillus by French naturalist Henri-Francois Anne de Roussel in 1796. Suillus is an ancient term for fungi and is derived from the word swine. Lucien Calet classified it as Vesipilus bovina in 1886. In works published before 1987, the species was written fully as Suillus bovinus, as the description of Linnaeus had been name-sanctioned in 1821 by the father of mycology, Swedish naturalist Elias Magnus Frias. The starting date for all the Roussel had been set by general agreement as January 1, 1821 the date of Frias' work. Furthermore, as Roussel's description of Suillus predated this as well, the authority for the genus was assigned to Otto Kuntz. The 1987 edition of the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature changed the rules on the starting date and primary work for names of fungi, and names can now be considered valid as far back as May 1, 1753, the date of publication of Linnaeus's work. Common names include Jersey cow mushroom, bovine bolete, and Euro cow bolete. One proposed origin of the scientific name is that medieval knights, who revered Tricholoma equestri, considered this mushroom fit only for cattle drovers, as it was not highly valued. A limited genetic sampling of species in a 1996 study by Annette Kretzer and colleagues showed Suillus bovinus was related to a lineage that diverged to Suillus puntus. Types, Suillus variegatus and Suillus tomentosus. A 2001 study found it was not closely related to other European species and that all populations tested were closer to each other than any other and hence it was a cohesive species. Czech mycologist Joseph Sutara circumscribed the genus Mariaella in 1987 assigning Maria Ella bovina as the type species. Maria Ella contained Suillus species in section Fungacy. Molecular studies do not support the existence of Maria Ella, and so it is considered synonymous with Suillus. Older synonyms for Suillus bovinus include those resulting from generic transfers to Agaricus by Jean-Baptiste Lamarck in 1783, and the now obsolete Ixocomus by Lucien Quillet in 1888. 
In 1951, Arthur Anselm Pearson described the variety Bolitas bovinus Verido Cairo Lescans, which was later transferred to Sewillus by Rolf Singer in 1961. This variant, collected in Western Cape Province, South Africa, differs from the main form by the staining reaction of the cap flesh, which turns dark or light greenish blue upon injury. Index fungorum does not, however, recognize the variety as having independent taxonomic significance. Chemical analysis of pigments and chromogens showed that Suillus was more closely related to Gomphidius and Rhizopagum than to other boletes, and hence Suillus bovinus and its allies were transferred from the Boletaceae to the newly circumscribed family Suiaceae in 1997. Molecular studies have reinforced how distantly related these fungi are from Boletus edulis and its allies. The fruit body, colloquially called a mushroom, of Suillus bovinus is a basidiocarp which is smaller and daintier than most other boletes. The cap is initially convex, then flat with a wavy margin, and a gray-yellow or okra with pink tinge in some specimens. It ranges from 3 to 10 centimeters or 1 and a quarter to 4 inches in diameter and has a sticky skin. The flesh is whitish, yellowish, or clay-colored and has a fruity smell. Sometimes turning a pink tinge when bruised, the flesh is spongy and rubbery. Like other boletes, it has pores instead of gills that make up the hymenophore on the underside of the cap. Suillus bovinus has a characteristic compound pore layer, consisting of an outer layer of coarse, angular pores overlaying an inner layer of finer pores. The pores are gray to olive yellow and generally decurrent, comprising yellow to olive yellow tubes that measure 0.3 to 1 centimeters, or 1 8 to 3 8 inches long. The four to six centimeters or one and a half to two and a quarter inches tall stipe, similar in color to the cap, tends to be narrower towards the base, with a diameter of 0.5 to 0.8 centimeters or a quarter to three eighths inches. It is more slender than those of other boletes. The spore print is an olive brown color. The oval to spindle shaped spores have dimensions of 8 to 10 by 3.5 to 4.5 micrometers. Basidia spore bearing cells are cylindrical to narrowly club shaped, measuring 22.4 to 33.4 by 5.8 to 8 micrometers. They bear four sterigmata, each holding a single spore, which are up to 6.8 micrometers long. Cystidia are present on both the tube ends, chelocystidia, and tube faces, plural cystidia. There are no clamp connections in the hyphae of Suillus bovinus. The cap cuticle comprises filamentous gelatinized hyphae with a diameter of 2.6 to 5 micrometers. The mycelium has a pink tinge. The distinctive color of the cap and pores make it hard to confuse with other species. Often found in similar habitats is Suillus variegatus, though this species has a granular cap and dark olive pores, which are smaller and not decurrent. It can also bruise blue. Suillus bovinus is found in conifer woods and plantations across Europe, including subalpine regions in the Alps, up to altitudes of 800 meters or 2,500 feet. It is common in Lithuania, where it associates with Scots pine, Pinus sylvestris, the only naturally occurring pine in that country. Preferred soils of Suillus bovinus are often acidic, sand-based, or sometimes calcareous or chalky and moraine. In Asia, it has been recorded in Taiwan and in Japan, where it associates with Japanese red pine, Pinus densiflora. In China, it has been recorded from provinces Anhui, Fujian, Guangdong, Hunan, Jiangxi, and Jiajiang. Suillus bovinus has been introduced into other areas. In North America, where it is thought to have been introduced with Scots pine, it is found in the eastern United States. 
including North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Vermont, and the Adirondack Mountains of New York. It has been recorded infrequently under Scots Pine in Australia, where it has been found as far north as southern Queensland, and in more southerly locations including New South Wales and Kaipo Forest. It has been recorded in New Zealand. In South Africa, it grows with Pinus radiata. Suelus bovinus is mycorrhizal, forming symbiotic associations with living trees by enveloping the tree's underground roots with sheaths of fungal tissue. Field work in pine forests in Sweden, analyzing the population structure of Suelus bovinus, found that mushrooms were more abundant in younger forests and forests with disturbed areas, which contained a higher number of genets, or colonies. 700 to 5,700 per hectare, compared with 30 to 120 genets per hectare in mature stands. Older colonies in mature forests could be 17.5 meters or 57 and a half feet in diameter against 1.7 to 5.3 meters or 5 and a half to 17 and a half feet diameter in young forests. Spore-bearing mushrooms, sporocarps, produce a huge number of spores, estimated in a Finnish study at 240 million to 1.2 billion per mushroom, of which only a small number grow successfully. This large number is thought to explain the larger numbers of colonies in disturbed and young forests, while the fungus' vegetative spread becomes more important in established forests. Colonies of Suillus bovinus do not overlap, which indicates they suppress each other's growth. The median lifespan of a colony was estimated to be 36 years. Fieldwork conducted in Swedish pine forests suggests that Suillus variegatus suppressed the growth of Suillus bovinus, as there was a negative correlation in occurrence. A Finnish study published in 1997 found that bacterial communities under Pinus sylvestris without mycorrhizal metabolized organic and amino acids, while communities among Suillus bovinus metabolized mannitol, a sugar alcohol. The mycelia also extended the environment in the soil that the bacteria were able to grow in. An experimental study in Portugal showed that Pinus pinister trees grew better after being inoculated with mycelium from Suillus bovinus, Lacaria lacata, and Lacteria deterimus, and spores of Pisoli, thus Tinctorius and Scleroderma citronub. These fungi were proposed as an alternative for chemical fertilizer in arboriculture of pine trees. Suillus bovinus has been shown to improve the tolerance of its host Pinus sylvestris to metal pollutants such as cadmium and zinc, though not to hazardous organic compounds such as M. toluate. Experimental work in 1986 showed that Suillus bovinus could metabolize proteins and peptides directly, causing a drop in nitrogen in growth media which suggested the species has some saprophytic activity. The related rosy spike cap, Gomphidius roseus, is found exclusively with this species and is now thought to be parasitic upon the mycelium of Suillus bovinus. This is evidenced by microscopic examination, which shows that Gomphidius roseus inserts hostoria in plant root cells and does not produce significant mycelium itself. Furthermore, Gomphidius roseus is never found growing in isolation, only with Suillus bovinus, though the latter species is found without the former. Decranophora fulva is a yellow mold that has been found growing on decaying Suillus bovinus fruit bodies in Europe and the United States. Suillus bovinus tastes mild and is edible, although it is not highly regarded. When cooked, it releases a lot of fluid, which can be collected and reduced or strained to make a sauce. Its flavor is made more intense by drying. The soft and rubbery consistency of older specimens, as well as their proneness to maggot infestation, renders them almost inedible. Fruit bodies are part of the later summer diet of the red squirrel in Eurasia, which collects the mushrooms and stores them in tree forks for a ready food supply after the onset of frost. There are several fly species that often use Suillus bovinus fruit bodies to rear their young. 
including Bolitophila rosica, Ezechia separata, Ezechiopsis indecisa, Pegomia deprimata, and Pegohilemia sylvatica.